Hello YouTube, thought I might do a video today on Armour versus Team Associated. So I have my Armour Typhon here, 3S BLX version 3, and I have my Team Associated rival MT10. I get a few questions on my channel regarding these vehicles or Armour versus Team Associated because they are similar in price and they are similar in performance. So if you had the money to spend on one, which one would you get? Okay, so here's my opinion anyway. So initially I've had armors, I've had a Typhon, a Big Rock, a Vortex and a Sentin. Uh, the team associated is the only vehicle I have from that manufacturer. My rival is a month old. My Typhon is two months old. Let me show you something very interesting. Okay, so here they are with their bodies removed. Now the biggest thing between the two, for me, is the parts that require replacing. If I take you quickly over my Typhon, I've had to replace the front shocks, the ESC, as you can see, not a stock ESC, this is Spectrum Firma 100 out of my Vortex. Servo is still stock, set your steering endpoints people and you might not burn out your servo. Motor. Surpass Hobby, not Spectrum. Spectrum motors are rubbish. Rear shocks. CD racing, just like the ones at the front. And sitting in there is a EXB steel diff armor. Steel diff. Full metal except for the yoke. It's got a plastic yoke. Okay. So that's the Typhon. Now, the rival, to be fair, the rival is newer, but has seen plenty of action, probably 30 batteries. Anyway, so we have, I have blown a front shock. This is one, this is a Team Losi off a short course truck that I had, uh, and works okay. These are plastic shocks, and yeah, I just blew it out. Uh, stock servo. I adjusted the dual rate on my servo and my stock servo is okay. Stock ESC, stock motor, rear shocks, stock. Okay, you probably can't see in here, but um, sway bars, the front sway bar broke. I broke one of the little pins in the back. So I removed the front sway bar. And I have stripped a spur gear. Now, compared to armors, I thought the replace, replacing the spur gear was relatively easy. I did have to uh, do this to undo all of these, all of these here. Pull it apart and the diff came right out and I had to open up the diff and replace the spur gear. All right, so I don't want to waffle on too long. They're both great trucks. The arm is faster, it's a different platform, it handles differently to the rival. I think the rival is going to end up being a little bit more reliable with its electronics. Time will tell. Both great trucks, you could do, uh, you, both of them are great trucks, so either of them would be a great vehicle to have in your stable. Monster truck versus uh, buggy, so again, slightly different application. But I'm super impressed with the rival. I'm thinking it's uh, it's pretty reliable and I'm looking forward to lots of fantastic use out of it. So I hope this video helped you guys. This is my first non-running video. <laughs> so don't forget to subscribe and catch you later.